Welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel, everybody, where Access we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and hopefully add some hot bangers to your backlog. That's what it's all about. Uh, we're going to do a warm-up run in the Cherny Galaxy here. And uh, what we're doing is we're doubling up on the speed magazines um, for a... You know, some, some quick blasting with that homing rifle. I think it's going to be super solid. Uh, you know, procedure. we'll expand the uh, experience bar a little bit. We'll get warmed up. And then uh, from there, we'll hop into the Symphonia galaxy, which, uh, I'll Starting be honest, it's, uh, it's been giving me a challenge lately. In a good way, you know, obviously keeps me coming back. So let's see how we do here with the two uh, speedy magazines. I think it's going to be a good combo, especially with her uh, homing rifle being the main weapon. All right, let's see what we got here. We're going to keep we're going to we're going to keep on the homing rifle. I think majority of time. Um, let's see every target hit. So this is her lightning. Uh, slide deal, but I think let's see. Unused magazine never depletes for 10 seconds, gaining immunity to all status effects and increased defense. I actually like the shock wave, so let's uh, let's power that up for now, and uh, we'll keep the other upgrades in mind along the way. Okay. I hope that uh, everybody had a great Christmas if you celebrate. If you don't, I, I hope that you still had some, uh, some downtime at this point in the year. Things seem to finally be slowing down a little bit, which is a beautiful thing, in my opinion. I know I've said it before, uh, it has been a long, working year. I think that's true for all of us. It's just a very, very busy time. Busier than I can ever remember from past years, you know? Now let's see what we got here. 5% attack power increase at the start of every stage. That might be a good one to grab now. 5% critical hit chance increase for 5 seconds on survival skill, dash guard, etc. Um, yeah, we're going to go with that. Uh, that's That's pretty good. You know, you, you tend to dash a lot in this game. Okay. I like how that uh, skill just knocks them back, too. We would benefit uh, from an ammo relic as well. We gotta keep that in mind. It seems like the reload on this gun uh, takes a good while. Okay, generator shield equivalent to 5% of max HP. Ooh, any time a critical lands. So we're going to go with this. And uh, reason being, well, I mean, there's a number of reasons. It's really good. But if we can end up replicating that relic and bringing it in, there's some pretty cool combos that we could try out with... Uh, Toast. Um, I think it was Rob D in the comments that uh, I was going back and forth with about, you know, potential combos that you could uh, utilize the other day. And one of them was a combo with uh, Toast, um, where, you know, you'd, you'd get the uh, expanded criticals relic, you know, where, where the crits are going to pop off more often. And then that shield relic, where anytime you get a crit, you're firing off a shield. I mean, I don't disagree. That'd be amazing. Okay, 50% defense increase. Oh, boy, I would like that. Um, let's see if we can get some freebies real quick. We should be able to. 50%, I mean, that's, that's really something. Okay, we should have it if there's... Oh, no coins? Oh, come on, don't do me like that. Really? We're going to be short by one? Hey, wait a second, wait a second. Come on, coins. Coins. There it is. All right. Okay. 
That was that was a clutch coin fight. Okay. Uh, you're not gonna destroy my walls. Better get back. I'd say these guys went down pretty fast. Okay. We got a ton of gold off of that. Really good. All right, what do we got here? 1% chance to inflict 2,000% of attack power. Yeah, 15% ranged damage reduction. Let's go with that. Um, I, I think that pays off. You know, I like the 2,000%, but it's only a 1% chance. It'd be interesting to know, you know, how many times throughout a run something like that uh, fires off. Okay. Is there another uh, upgrade cube? Sometimes in the last area, you know, they, they put two of them in. Maybe it's just the one. Okay. So, uh, we'll, we'll keep some gold going into the next zone. Uh, because if it's a boss, and it is, we might be able to get Starting something good. Planet exploration. Okay. Let's see what the options are here. Uh, recover 20% of HP upon successful hit. Absolutely. All right. What do we got here? Standard rifle. No. Nope. Striker shotgun. No. Nope. Okay, here we go. Now, this might be worth looking at here. 50% increase the defense and attack power when 10 or fewer relics are in possession. I think right now we're, we're there. Increase critical hit chance by 15% for 5 seconds when remaining ammo is above 70%. Uh, increase damage by up to 25% the closer you are to the target. I think we're going to get that. What does this do? Increase damage by up to 25%. Oh, okay. Alright, so another close... Let's go with the rifle. And what does this one do? 20% defense increase. Um, you know, why not? We'll get big and beefy. That'd be good to have it right before the boss. Yeah, she's got lower health as well. So. Oh yeah, this guy's going down good. 20,000 DPS. Wow. Look at that. That's fantastic. You know, I'm, I'm really liking this concept of doing a warm-up run now. Since I decided it on a whim. Um, but that's that's the way to go. Alright, let's see what we got here. 50% increase to defense and attack power when 10 or fewer. Um, increase critical hit chance by 20% when HP is 30% or lower. 15% attack power increase when shield is active. Um, you know, let's see. Do we have another relic that uh, creates a shield for us? I think we do, if I'm remembering right. Do we? Yes, we do. Okay. So let's, let's go ahead with that. And we're going to get one as long as we're doing crits. Uh, we can't afford anything over here. Okay, we're ready to rock. I'm ready to have a sip of uh, coffee. Mm. I've got a really nice roast today uh, from a Starting roaster. I believe they're out of Chicago. It's a roaster called Dark Batter. Um, and uh, I have their house blend called Love Supreme. And I, I'll tell you what, I'm feeling the love right now. Okay. Now, I'd still like an ammo increase or just an automatic uh, ammo recharge. That'd be great, too. All right, let's get our freebies. And we'll go get our uh, our other freebie, our suit upgrade. Reduces cooldown by 30%. Increase shock radius, shock wave cooldown reset on perfect dodge. Um, you know, we haven't had a perfect dodge yet, so let's go with that. And uh, as 
So we're going to follow the arrow from here. Now I know I forget to use these skills, but that one's really good because it also uh, gives you rapid fire for a little bit. Yeah, that shield's just popping off all the time. Okay. So we're back to 373 gold. That's pretty good. 1% chance to recover 3% of max HP when attacking. Or we could just turn down some of the damage. Um, strong, ominous force. Let's do that. Oh, we got the strong, ominous force, but they're going down fast. Let me tell you what. Ooh, what do we got here? Missile rifle. Yeah, I, I like the homing too much. When I'm lightning, I want to have the homing. That's just the deal. Okay, we got anything else down here before we move on? You know me, I like to max it out. Okay. All right, so we're moving on. Let me gonna let me take a peek in here. Full. Why isn't it opening? There it is. Forty percent crit damage increase. Uh, yep. And yep. So this one is good. You know, it reduces the uh, uh, time that it takes to get your skills back as long as you you hit. And uh, good news, I typically get the hits. So I'm excited because uh, I I got an Oculus Quest 2. Santa brought it, and uh, you know I ended up picking up um, Vader Immortal. I believe that's what it's called because uh, they were running a, a deal. And I've heard really good things about that one. I'm also uh, a huge Star Wars fan. Always have been. Always will be. You know, anything coming out of that universe, uh, typically I'm up for it, you know? Love the original trilogy. But really, everything that comes out of there. Okay, 20% attack power increase. I mean, that sounds good. Invincible for 15 seconds when HP is 30% or lower. Increase damage up to 25% the further you are to a target. Um, let's go with this. Okay. Oh, you? I think they're talking about me. All right, let's, okay. We're, now we're gonna turn it up. Now you went and pissed me off. We're gonna turn it up now. Come in here knocking me down. It's gonna be hell to pay. Wow. Man, those guys went down fast. That's really exciting. So anyway, what was I saying uh, about the Oculus? Um, I'm excited about it, you know? Uh, all right, let's do this one for sure. Um, I uh, Here's what's, what's really cool. There's roguelikes on it, and roguelites, you know? And, and some of them sound really cool. They've got one that's uh, really similar uh, in description to Dark Souls, but it's in VR, and it's a roguelike. So I've got to check, I've got to check into it uh, a bit more. But I want to, uh, Starting you know, start playing some VR games. Um, 
on the channel, you know, to give those games uh, more exposure as well. And, um, you know, maybe open, open people's eyes to some of those experiences. Increase damage to shock targets, fire an additional projectile. Excellent. Okay, speaking of firing additional projectiles, we're gonna, we're gonna activate these guns here. We're gonna be firing all kinds of projectiles. All right. Now, these guys piss me off enough. Then we're gonna get really crazy with them. We're gonna start doing this. Oh, that's outstanding. Wow. Shock you, buddy. Yes. That is so strong. Ooh, we got a gold gun that dropped. What do we got here? Palming rifle. And it's a legendary. Generate shield equivalent to 25% of max HP for 15 seconds on perfectly timed survival skill. Increase critical hit chance by 25% for 5 seconds if no damage is taken in 5 seconds. 15% survival skill dash cooldown. Increase max rounds. There it is. We've been talking about that. Outstanding. All right. Uh, let's quickly spend all this cache that we got here. 80% crit damage increase. Yes. Can we do it? Yes. Okay. Look at this. Wow. Oh, we're doing that. 45%. That's excellent. Um, deal 3,000% of attack power as damage to nearby enemies when receiving knockback. Uh, you know, I'm not too worried about that stuff. Um... Recovers three rounds of ammo per second. Absolutely. All right. That is going to do it for this one. We are moving on. Ooh. Okay. Starting planet exploration. Looks like our warm-up round is coming to an end here. Just make sure there's nothing we can grab. Yeah. We don't, we don't have enough cache, but that's okay. We got some good stuff going into this. Generate shield equivalent to 15% of max HP for 15 seconds on use. Yeah, I think so. I mean, this would be good too. Yeah, let's do it. Oh boy. Uh, you know what? I have a feeling that uh, the old Mega Arma is not going to feel so mega. Let's see how we do. Maybe I'll end up beating those words. I don't think I'm gonna. Okay. Wow. All right, so he's got some invincibility happening. That's okay. Wow. Look at this bad dog. You, you just love to see those perfect dodges. You love to see those crit numbers. You love to see the shield pop on a crit. There's not a whole lot I'm not loving to see right now. Why don't you take some of that and get shocked? Okay. All right, so that's what they're talking about on the knockback. I'm not too worried. Oh, 
I think we got old uh, Porcupine figured out here. All right. That was excellent. Now, because we had a successful exploration, I believe what that also means is that we're going to replicate one of these items. We're just hoping that it's the uh, shield on crits. Or is it this guy? Shield critical scope. That's what we want replicated. Maybe if I click it, it'll help. All right, I gave it five clicks. All right. Okay, got a little bit closer to another uh, vault point. Let's see what we get here. 40% crit damage increase. That's not bad either. Not exactly the one I was hoping for, but, you know, I guess that just means uh, we're we're one away from not getting that again, and it, it you know it reduces the the possibilities and uh, enhances the possibility of getting the one we do want. So um, let's, let's see. Do we want to keep? I think I think we want to keep what we're doing with the uh, with the faster fire rate, and let's take that concept into Symphonia and see how that goes with lightning. I think it could work. You know, sometimes Starting it depends on the distribution of relics and uh, what you end up with over the course of your run. But um, yeah, let's see how we do here. I know I keep saying I'm going to see if there's a button or a way to uh, expand the map. For an area like this, it's a little bit more open-ended. Um, but can you guess what I haven't done yet? <laughs> All right. Uh, recover 20% of HP upon successful hit. Uh, really hard to say no to that. Okay. All right, I think we're ready. Let's head down this way. You know, there's a section in Symphonia, this has happened to me a few times now, where I just get completely overrun. Um, it's, it's in like the fifth area that this happens when you go. Uh, so there's a few bosses in a row that you have to fight. And then they go back to, you know, more of an open world section like, like the opening one in this area right now. And, um, just get swarmed like right off the bat uh all right let's see here 0.25 percent defense increase for every kill 50 percent max yeah we're gonna we're gonna do that for sure that will help okay let's keep going to the left here oh what do we got here Uh, okay, sniper rifle. Unfortunately, can't can't do it. Well, that worked really well. Okay. Well, we got some coins going at this point. See what we got here. Turret Greaves. 10% increase to attack power and defense for every one second not moving. I don't know. You know, my, my play style, that just doesn't fit as well. Um, ah, the dash cooldown might be nice. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm more one that, you know, I'm going to move around quite a bit. What I wouldn't mind seeing is the ability Warning. to scrap Warning. these for gold. You know, if, like if you're not going to take a weapon, if you could scrap it, maybe take, you know, some kind of resource from it, that'd be cool. Missile rifle, striker shotgun. You know, I really want to stick with the homing. Um, 
that's why I went with the uh, additional speed. You know, specifically for that area where I get swarmed all at once. I, I think the homing is going to be the way to go. Okay. Not bad. So similar to our warm-up run, um, I may hold out on some of these upgrades, you know, unless they're really good for something that gives us ammo back. Increase critical hit chance by 25% for five seconds if no damage is taken in five seconds. Yeah, let's do that. That one I'm good with uh, going all in for. Um, let's see what else we got around here. Oh, why don't we go this way? The more open worlds, you know, I like to make sure that we're exploring as, as deeply as we can. Um, because as soon as you go into that area that, that triggers the final encounter, when you finish it, it's it's going to start the timer where you have to exit. And, uh, you know, I want to make sure we're earning and, and getting all the relics we possibly can. Before leaving the planet. Um, you know, I think we're going to hold off there. Like I said, I'm really hoping for something that uh, enhances the bullets uh, per clip or something that uh, generates ammo over time. 1% chance to recover 3%. Yeah. Recover 5% of HP when a skill hits an enemy target. I mean, that is a good one. That'll take. Okay. All right, so we're gonna keep uh, heading to the right here if we can. I'm just expanding along these uh, these sides. Hopefully that'll allow us to keep earning. God, that's good. That's also the one that uh, gives us health back when it hits. Reload. Okay. Well, I suppose now they, they all do because of the vampire module that we picked up. All right. Good deal. Let's see what we got in here. Immunity against freezing, 50% damage against petrified. Okay. And that increased skill power by 100% would be pretty good too. Did we look in here already? Yeah. Oops. Oops. Okay. That, that was an oopsie. That's all right. Maybe these guys will give us a weapon. Okay. So we got the Inferno shotgun. We've got the missile rifle. All right, we're going to keep moving here. You know, the oops wasn't it wasn't that bad. I mean, having your uh, skill powers become available that much faster, not a bad thing at all. Okay, I think we did a good job of uh, really taking the long way through this area. Regardless of no expanded map capability. All right, max HP by 10,000, 20% defense increase. You know, she does have a lower max HP. We'll go with that. Like I say, I am hoping to see uh, an ammo upgrade show up here. Uh, let's just make sure there's nothing down here. Okay. Like filling in those shaded areas. 
that's what I'd recommend to you as well uh, if you're going through Symphonia. Yeah, just kind of make sure you're going through the whole thing. Really taking advantage of all the potential upgrades that you can. Oh, come on. They knocked me over mid-power use. Not very nice. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. Immunity against shock. 50% damage increase against shocked. Generates a shield equivalent to 15% for of max HP for five seconds when weapon is not in use for three seconds. No, it's it's always in use. Alright. Shield module. Generates a shield equivalent to 10% of max HP for five seconds when a skill is used. See, now that's a hard one to uh, to walk away from. You use it skills all the time. And there's uh, plenty of relics that play off of that as well. You know, like, when oh, when a shield's active, uh, you know, we're going to give you enhanced crit or we're going to give you enhanced weapon damage. So now I've got to be on the lookout for those. Um, okay. Let's keep going here. All right. Well, I knew we were gonna hit the final encounter soon enough, but we did a good job of really maxing, maxing it out. All right, you wanna knock me over? Start knocking your ass over. Come on. There we go. All right, so we ended up with 115. Uh, we might be able to find enough freebie cash in order to get to 120, which is, you know, kind of the minimum. All right, we need, oh, there we go. All right, let's check out what the options are here. Immunity against burn, 15% attack power increase. Oh, when shield is active. 20% increased defense and attack power. Uh, we're gonna do that. Okay, so that's gonna close it out in terms of gold that we've got. Good time to take a sip here. Planet exploration. I think we've got a good start going. You know, if we can make it through this boss. Let's see, increase weapon power by 20% for five seconds when you do a dash. On use, magazine never depletes for 10 seconds. Gang immunity to all status effects, 200%. This is gonna come in handy. Let's go with that. All right. I have fought the machine magician. And uh, it has not gone well in the past. Oh boy. Okay. So, they probably dropped some health. Let's go grab that. Perfect. Oh, man. Got me right in the eye. Right between the eyes. Holy moly. That's a tough one. That really is a tough one. Now, I don't think you get a replication when you lose. Don't think that's how that works. We're gonna find out here. But I think given the previous run, yeah, you do need a win in order to get a successful uh, rune or relic replication. I say we give that another go with lightning. Uh, we did get a 
vault point, it looks like, though. System. So let's uh, let's pop one of those into here. I'm working towards getting this to level five because then that'll open this up and we can start getting uh, you know some HP recovery, which is going to be awesome. Um, so let's put that in there. Then we'll need one more over here, and then we can start getting this, which is going to be great. I'm still wondering uh, how the season reset is going to work. You know, I've seen some people out there saying, oh gosh, you know, they're going to reset the whole thing. I'm actually going to go with this critical chip this time. Uh, so we have to release this, and then we can equip this. Okay, perfect. Uh, right, that looks good. That looks good. Okay. Um, I've seen some people out there saying, boy, you know, uh, these guys are going to wipe all the progress, you know, of the, uh, the vault points or the season points, whatever they're called. Um, that's going to be interesting if they do that. And Starting I don't know that that is going to do what what they're hoping it does. Uh, you know, I, I don't think that's gonna make me say, oh man, you know, I wanna get in there and get all this stuff back again. Uh, you know, when it comes to the meta progression piece, um, I, I, I'm i really hoping they don't go that way. I, I, I get it, they want the game to have legs and they wanna update it uh, for a while, but um, I, I don't wanna lose all my upgrades and, uh, you know, have to begin that tree over again. I, I guess I will say, you know, if they're going to pop coupons uh, more often and have people you know, be able to um, upgrade that tree faster that way, you know, then I'd be open to that. Um, all right, on perfect dodge, reduces cooldown for the lightning slide. Let's go with the laser turret duration increase. Um... Yeah, so if they're going to do it through coupons, you know, and they're going to pop those uh, pretty often, like they did with, uh, you know, Borderlands, for instance. You know, those guys were out there popping codes all the time. What do we got here? Double shotgun. Eh. Hold off on that. You know, that I could, I could see a case for that. But if you're going to wipe everything away on me, I don't know that that's going to get me excited to keep coming back. You know, when I when I play a roguelite uh, in particular, it, it is for what the kids out there are calling meta progression, that those permanent upgrades, um, you know, permanent means permanent. All right, 15% increase to HP, defense, and attack power when 120 or less coins are in possession. I mean, that's typically what I'm rolling with, probably. 1% chance to recover. All right. Let's, um, let's see, increase attack power by 25% for five seconds when remaining ammo. I don't know, this thing runs out of ammo so fast. Let's do that. Because I'm, I'm typically a big spender. So it, it should should behoove us in most cases, that one. Alright. Oh, the DPS is starting to grow, that's nice. I think I do need an upgrade to this gun though. Okay. Warning. Danger level will rise as time passes. I guess let's let's finish this up first. Okay. Ooh, we got an orange over here. Crash your shotgun. Why is the goat not taking an orange? Well, you know, if this is the first time uh watched one of my videos on this game uh, welcome welcome but uh, in addition to that um, I just not partial to shotguns 
I, I prefer the farther trajectory. 20% defense increase for three seconds on critical hit. You know, I think we've got to go with that. Oh, we've got to increase attack speed as well. All right. Um, we're going to try to come back for that one. I wouldn't mind increasing the attack speed again. Sometimes you can get the coins right away so you don't have to remember. But devs, if you're listening, if there's a way to uh, add a, a map marker of some kind, that would be awesome. You know, in case there's a box you want to go back to. Okay, need a little bit more. Almost there. Two more. Reload. Come on. Get it to us. There it is. We'll even cruise all the way there using that thing. Okay. Awesome. I figured we'd find that along the way. Now we just need something for ammo, again. All right, good deal. Reload. Don't have enough yet for an upgrade. Okay. Yeah, I think we might have to backtrack a little bit. If we use the portal, typically those, uh, in my experience, are going to take you to the final encounter. So I uh, usually stay away from those. Unless I'm ready, you know, to go to the end. Which maybe in this case, we are. I'm trying to see. Maybe we can go left over here. Maybe. Huh. Did we do the whole thing? Maybe we did the whole map. I don't know. I guess this is an opportunity to take a sip of coffee. Like I was saying, though, I'm, I'm a little bit neurotic when it comes to uh, expanding the whole map in Symphonia. You know, you run into these guys every once in a while, dragging it out. Okay. It's not bad. Double shotgun. Yeah. Missile rifle. Okay. We might be able to go up this way now. I guess not, but you know what? We made sure. And that's what matters. Okay. So let's go ahead and, uh, Take the portal here. Come on. All right. I'm thinking this is the last encounter of this spot. Uh, 0.25% skill power increase for every kill. Reduce skill cooldown by 10%. Uh, the power knife, I think, is where we're, we're probably going to go next. Receive 5% of max HP as damage. Nope. Need a beefier breaker for something like that. Like a, like a toast. Okay. So it looks like maybe this is going to go on for a little bit. Good with that. 20% uh, increase to... Oh, that's 20 or more relics. Ooh, look at this. Yes, ma'am. Uh, 
Ooh, that attack speed's looking good now. Alright, let's go over here. Reload. Get a reload too. <laughs> Get these guns activated. Well, sometimes I don't get that far. Find out after the battle that I left guns unactivated. Alright, that was good. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Ignore 20% of enemies' defense. Uh, I like I like the sound of that. And we've got a uh, relic box up here as well. Um, let's get something for ammo. One time. Recover 100% HP when HP is 30% or lower. Oh, buddy. Now we're talking. Um, man, both of these are good. Uh. I gotta go with that. This is a tough planet. Uh, that could literally save us. As long as we can stay alive for another two minutes after getting all the health back. See with the ice in the way. Alright. Warning. Enemies are becoming stronger. Yeah, I'm not too worried. Right, get me out of there. Good deal. That looks like a missile rifle, crasher shotgun. We're gonna pass. However, thanks to those guys, we got uh, well, we got a lot more gold to spend now, so that's good. Reload. Going deep in this area too. Okay, increase max HP, reduce skill cooldown. By 15%. I mean, that could be really good. Let's do that. Ah, oh, there it is. That's okay. We got we got some really good stuff out of this spot. That was great. 117. Let's see, can we cobble together two more coins? I think we can. There it is. All right, 40% crit damage increase. I think we're gonna go that way. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. On to the boss. Let's see if maybe we can have a slightly better showing. It's a different boss too. Starting planet exploration. But you know we're gonna fight that same one in stage six. I, I looked down the line. He's gonna show up again. Which is fine. We'll be ready. Increase crit hit damage by 25% for five seconds if no damage is taken. Oh, okay. I was just looking. I know I can't afford any of them. Fire an additional projectile. Oh, recover 20% of HP upon successful hit. You know... Let's go with that. Anything that can keep us alive for that two minute period when uh, that relic is, is recharging. Okay, so this is a guy we want to stay kind of away from, I think. Well, we gotta get out of there. Now, let's try to stay the hell away from him if we can. Come on. Okay. 
couple of nice dodges for sure. Uh-oh. We need to get away from him. Wow. Okay. He's uh he's pretty pissed off. I can't tell what's going on. Oh my god, there's two of them. Alright. Come on. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. I can't use my powers. Oh boy. Okay. I think I shocked one of them. Uh oh, no powers. And I can't move. We were petrified. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right. We gotta get close enough to him. Pop that off. Oh, no powers again. Oh, boy. Well, we got rid of the double, at least. All right, come on, come on. Our module kicked off. We got all our health back. We gotta stay alive for two minutes here, which I think we're gonna be able to do. Uh -oh. Okay, get us out of here. Come on. Oh. Let's grab this health. Oh, nice. Nice. Ooh, okay. Missile rifle, double shotgun, Lancer rifle. Wow, got, got the heart rate up for sure. 5% shield for three seconds on survival skill dash. I mean, that's gonna be a yes for sure. Um, and then we're going to warp right on into the next area. Boy, oh boy. It's going pretty well so far. Starting planet exploration. Okay. Alright, so let's get our freebie for before the attacks start coming. Increase shock radius, fire an additional projectile. Let's go with that. Oh, they're going to come from all sides. Now, here's the good news. We're probably going to get a lot of coins from this. The not-so-good news is that uh, I have played this area in the past, and it is tough. Usually, these guys end up getting through on me. Okay. I'm going to have to, like, manage all sides, which gets complicated. See, they're already coming through, and this big gun can only do so much. We're about halfway through at this point. And the gun is uh, about knocked out. It's not great. Get out of here. Oh, man, they took the gun out. All right, we've got, what, 30 more guys to take out? I think we can do this. They got their big guy out there. I can't tell if our module fired off, and that's how we got the health, or... 
If I'm just an Adonis. <laughs> like that the uh, shield's popping off on every dash. That's nice. Nice. Beautiful. All right. Good deal, Lucille. Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Generator shield equivalent to 20% of max HP for 15 seconds when HP is 30% or lower. Oh, beautiful. Okay, we're going to have all kinds of shields. And I think this stuff stacks. Um, so, we got a little bit of a durability. Let's see if we can find an offensive upgrade now. The movement speed might be nice. Oh, 15% additional damage to bosses. We're doing that. Okay. You know, why did I do that? Well, the bosses are really, really beefy. And, uh, you know, I think that... Starting uh, planet exploration. Anytime that appears, you take it. You know, bosses are durable. Uh, let's go with this. And I don't think we're going to be able to get anything in here that's worth a damn. Um, boy, that would have been nice. Oh, increase max rounds by 50. That would have been nice. But you know what? We've we got some good gear. So let's see. Let's see how we do here. The Ice Wall Mechanical Giant. I don't know that I've ever fought this guy. Love the variety in this game. I mean, this is what you get from a good roguelite experience. You, know, you just never know what to expect around every corner. Yeah, this guy does not look familiar. And it's becoming clear to me that he is going to be uh, pretty tough as well. Okay. Boy, oh boy. Let's uh, see if we can shock him. Maybe? Okay. Zoics. I mean, you love seeing that. Look at those crits just popping off. It's beautiful. Okay. Love this music. Oh. Okay. We gotta get some health back. Wow. I can only imagine what he's gonna do when he gets uh, a little bit less health and it's really pissed off. Oh boy. Well, it's about to get a little bit harder. Oh, man. Oh, no. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, dang. You know, I, uh... I fought a boss that was like that but it was a magma version of that guy, and he did the same thing. He trapped me in a wall, and I didn't know what to do. And somebody uh, commented in the past saying, hey, you know, when that happens, you got to destroy the walls. Um, I tried <laughs> and uh, failed brilliantly. But I guess that just means uh, there's more anvil vault breakers to look forward to in the future here. Um, backpack Dodger Blue. Okay. Don't mind that. Don't mind that at all. So, I don't think we ended up with another vault point. Didn't get a replication. Are you ready for battle? Unfortunately. Got plenty of uh, crons, but you know, right now I, I like the toy, toy worker, worker that I have. System. I don't think that they can be upgraded. You know, I I think that um, they all uh, they all do different things, but 
I don't think they can be upgraded, uh, at least at this point. I mean, this, this game is still being uh, developed on. It's in a preview phase on Xbox Game Pass, which is the version I'm playing here. And, uh, you know, it's available in early access on Steam as well. Uh, we're going to keep going here, um, and eventually, you know, we'll get to this upgrade, to upgrade tree where... We can start getting into, you know, some of these. So you got the regeneration every five seconds. Then down here, recovery increased by 5% of HP. I mean, that's going to be great, too. So we will uh, we will look forward to that. Um, appreciate the support to the channel. If you like roguelikes and roguelites, uh, stay tuned. If you're new here, join the community. We got some really great people that uh, commentate and um, show up when I'm doing live streams. I know I slowed down with those a little bit. Um, yeah, sometimes they, they're just tough to fit in with the schedule, but at least with these, you know, they're up there. Everybody can uh, take a look and participate in the comments section, share advice and wisdom, especially in this game. Um, if you've got a killer build, you know, let us know about it in the comments, um, like Rob D did the other day. That was uh, great to see. Um, a lot of good ideas flowing back and forth, and uh, I think it helps everybody. So you take care and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you next time on the Goat Force Gaming channel. Goodbye.